what's the Minecraft game team up to? Well, we're actually doing quite many things. Mm. So for example, we have some amazing developers working on tools for us to make our development process more efficient and more joyful. Oh, that's so good. It is. I'm, I'm very, very thankful for that. And another thing I, I would love to mention is that this week uh, we released to Snapshots, Betas and Preview a, no, a new really cute feature and that is that you can put items inside decorated pots. I love that. So you'll revisit some older features. Yes, so we want to have like a good balance between adding new things and also going back and improving existing things. That's such a good idea. And we are also working on a new update coming next year. I think we all want you to tell us about that. Oh, well then. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, long term, we want to evolve Minecraft for everyone. And in the recent years, we focused a lot on creativity mm -hmm. and exploration. So for this year, it's time to focus more on like combat adventures and on tinkering. My time has finally come. I am an adventurer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and next year, Minecraft turns 15 years old. Wow. I you know, it's really precious. And so we were thinking, wouldn't it be quite cool that after 15 years of Minecraft, it's time to test your skills in some new trials. Trials. Yes, trials. So we are adding a new big multiple room structure called the trial chambers. Ooh. And these trial chambers consist of like multiple new features and they also have a unique visual style. So, so it's like when you are inside those chambers, it really feels like you are in a place you've never seen in Minecraft before. They're amazing and I think you need to show everyone. Yes. Come join me to my realm and we can meet some of the team members so we can see part of the new features coming to the update. Good luck! Eee! Hi, Mosh! I see you found something rather epic here. Yes, I've been digging around our caves and I found a trial chamber. Lovely! A big part of this update is that we really want to add new adventures for our more combat loving players. And the chamber certainly includes some exciting challenges. So, what we're looking at here in the center of everything is the corridor. The corridor leads to different rooms and it can lead to supply chests. You can find things that'll challenge you, but also things that'll help you. The chambers are new structures that are combined of lots of different rooms. They are procedurally generated, so there is a lot of variation. And like, it's so fun because each time we play tested, it felt like finding a new chamber. It was exciting each time. So there is a lot of replayability. Don't follow me. I really, really like the like the unique visual style we made in these chambers. And that was also something we really wanted to achieve. Like when you as a player find those chambers, you know you found something special. Sarah! Oh, hey there, Agnes. We are surrounded by so many beautiful new decorative blocks. Yeah, I think the tough blocks that will be a lot of fun to build with because of its geometrical design. And copper gets more uses too. With the copper set, we want to introduce a tinkered kind of feel, and the new copper bulbs give players a fun way to light up their builds. We actually just used some of them in our village, and it created such a cozy feeling. I'm honestly so excited to see what people build with these new blocks. I'm just gonna take a couple of these grates. I think it's so nice because we can use these new blocks to create exciting experiences, but then also all of you amazing players can use be like super creative and, and tinker with these blocks to build like anything you can imagine. Oh, here is one of the supply chests Moj we're talking about. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Agnes. So nice, you're making it brighter in here. 
Yeah, these copper bulbs, when they get oxidized, they get quite dim, but with this axe, I can actually scrape off the oxidation and make it brighter again. I love that mechanic so much that like the more oxidized the copper bulbs are, the more dim the light will be. I think it's super interesting for storytelling. Definitely. I, I don't even need to bring torches anymore to the trial chambers. I just bring an axe and light my way through. Trials Bono, time for a combat challenge. Yay! Okay, I see ice blocks around the trial spawner, so it's definitely spawning strays. What's our plan? Well, I will go ahead and scrape up some oxidation so we can see. I'll just head in straight for the fight. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Oh, oh no, so many strays. I'll take this one. <laughs> nice one, Agnes. Yes! Ah, he got me. Agnes, we're covered in arrows. <laughs> Yay! Victory! Good job, Brandon! So this is a trial spawner. It's actually a new variant of spawners, which adapts based on the amount of players that join the fight. It actually spawns a limited amount of mobs compared to a normal spawner. Yeah, we really wanted this to be a fun challenge, both in single player and in multiplayer. And this is also why we both got some nice loot. So you can see the smoke coming out of the trial spawner. That actually means that it's on cooldown, so we can come back later and play this all again. Yeah, so don't break it. We want everyone on our realm to play the combat challenge. All right, I'm up for more challenges. Want to go to another room? Soon, but first I'm going to go to the village, but you go ahead. Oh, hi! Eu estou a caminho da minha maior aventura. Wow, good luck! Babo Agnes, que es una mascotita muy kawaii? Oh, an axolotl? Of course I want it. Thank you. <gasps> oh, that's so pink and so cute. The world could always use more color. That's lovely. Corey, Oscar. Hey, Agnes. Agnes. Hi, it seems like you placed a crafter here. Yes, with a crafter you can automate crafting with redstone. It's pretty similar to a crafting table, except instead of pulling the item out yourself, you can use the redstone pulls to get it out. I'm gonna have this crafter make hanging signs, everyone can decorate the village with them. And let's place a button here. And I'll press the button. And again. Yay, lots of hanging signs! Oh, hi! I hope so too! Oh, hi! 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 Yes, I've been building an automated sword crafter, but instead of pressing a button, it just keeps on crafting infinitely. We used the new toggleable slots to make sure that the hoppers place items where we want them. The crafter is, is so precious because you can both do these like really advanced contraptions, but it's also very welcoming. So we hope that it will be delightful to use both for like redstone beginners and redstone experts. Before you head out, make sure to grab some armor. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. We're about to head down to the trial chambers. Bam. Oh yeah, now this will be a breeze. It 
It's Magnus. Ready to fight the breeze? Oh, yes. I'll let them take care of that. The breeze is a playful, hostile mob that jumps around and uses wind to provide a combat encounter unlike any other in Minecraft. I just got hit by the wind charge. A burst of energy from the breeze. The wind charge doesn't deal any damage when it bursts and blows things away, but it does deal damage when it collides directly with something. It damaged me. He'll be fine. Corey? The wind burst doesn't only knock things back. It also interacts with certain blocks. Yeah, like buttons and trapdoors. The room becomes part of the fight. We hope you enjoy these playful combat encounters with the Breeze when you stumble across them in the new trial chambers. It's grumpy and cute, but also real rude. I'm heading out now. Whoa! <laughs> that looked like a really tough fight. It was! What? I just loved seeing all of you play together on the realm and like letting everyone get to meet more of the development team. Yes, it was so fun. And I think like a really lovely thing with this update is that of course it's fun in single player, but we have also put a lot of effort in ensuring it's very fun in multiplayer too. I can't wait to play with all of my friends. Right. And the trial chambers. The first time I saw them, my mind was blown. Yes, like I love the unique visual style we created with like the new decorative blocks. And also we just showed like a few of the rooms. So I'm really looking forward to like when all of you get to explore the trial chambers and find all the things we didn't show. There's a room that I love so much <laughs> and I can't wait for everyone to like finally get to see it. <laughs> When I saw the trial spawner, I don't it took me back. Like the nostalgia of the first time I found a spawner. It, it's so cool to see that in a completely new way. Well, that's so lovely to hear because it's, it's actually really intentional because, you know, with the 15 year anniversary coming up next year, it felt so good that like the main thing with the update, the child chambers, they are actually a nod to a very classic feature, the monster rooms. And what do you think the community is going to do with the crafter? I can't even imagine. No, like, I just very, very much looking forward to seeing it. Like, everything from, like, the more basic contraptions to the super complex one and everything in between. And I also think it's really nice with the crafter because it ties so well to the more, like, tinkery side of this update. It really gives you a chance to, like, mess around with the features that you all added in a new way. Yes. And we cannot forget a very grumpy new mob, the breeze. Yes, this little whirlwind with the most like epic eyebrows ever. However, don't let it fool you because it's actually quite challenging to fight it. And what I like really, really love with fighting the breeze is that since it um, activates contraptions in the room, like a dispensing, dispenser shooting arrows, for example, it means that it's not only fighting the breeze, because the environment becomes part of the fight as well, which is like it's a complete new kind of combat challenge. And I like, it's very playful, and I really like that. It is playful. It's playful <laughs> combat, which I really yes. love. And very precious. I know I'm not the only one, but like, when can we play it? Well, actually, quite soon. So the features we've shown today will come to betas, previews, and snapshots in the coming weeks. And then, just like last year, we will announce some more features throughout the development process.